Hey everybody, this is Dr. Chris Dost. Welcome back to my Biblical Hebrew Grammar series. In this lesson, we're going to be covering the letters tet through kof. Before we begin, however, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the bell below to be notified when I publish videos in this series in the future. And if you would, please be sure to hit that like button below. I really appreciate your support. All right, let's get started. So the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Aleph. 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 And we said that Aleph is a silent consonant. Now, originally it functioned as a glottal stop, but with the modern Israeli pronunciation that we use, it is essentially a silent consonant. The next letter is the letter Bet, and when it has a dagesh in it, or when it has that dot in it, it makes the B sound like in boy, but when it lacks the dagesh, when it lacks the dot, it makes a V sound like in the word victory. The third letter is the letter Gimel, 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 and Gimel produces the G sound like in the name Gary. That's followed by Dalit, and Dalit has the D sound like in the name David. Then we have He, and He makes an H sound like in the word happy. After that is the letter Vav, and Vav, when it serves as a consonant in the pronunciation system that we use, will make the V sound like in the word victory, but it also serves as a vowel marker for O and O sounds. O and O sounds. That's followed by the consonant Zion. Zion. And Zion makes a Z sound like in zebra. And that's followed by Chet. Chet. Chet, which makes that rough throat clearing sound that we don't typically encounter in English. Next is the letter T, which makes a T sound like in the name Thomas, or like in the Hebrew word Tov, Tov, which means good. Now, whenever we have the letter T and we want to transcribe it or transliterate it, we might say, into Latin characters, it will appear as a T with a dot underneath it. And that's because Historically, it had a different sound, a different pronunciation from the one we use today, but we're not going to worry about that right now. That's for later on in the course. Right now, just remember that the letter T makes the sound T, like in the Hebrew word Tov. After that comes Yud, and Yud makes the Y sound, like in the color yellow, or like in the Hebrew word for hand, Yod, Yod. It can also be a vowel marker for the E vowel, like in the word Gedi, which is similar to the I vowel in machine. Gedi for goat, Gedi. And it can also indicate the A sound, like in Obey, or in the Hebrew word Oved, Oved, which means perishing. And then finally, we have Kof. Now, Kof is going to appear in the Aramaic square script of the Bible in three different forms. When it appears at the beginning of the word or in the middle of the word, and it produces a hard K sound, like in the name Karen, it will have a Dagesh in it. If it appears at the beginning of a word or in the middle of the word, and it is spirantized or softened to make a rough ch sound similar to the sound made by chet, then we will see it without the dagesh. But at the end of the word, it's going to appear in an entirely different form, and it will still produce, in such cases, the sound ch. And so a couple of examples we have here, the word honor or glory is kavod, that's a hard K, kavod, kavod. And the word meaning he wept, which is bacha, bacha, which is a spirantized kaf. And you'll notice that in such cases we transcribe it with a K and a line underneath. And then the word final form can be seen in the word ach. Ach, which means surely, but, or however. All right, now let's take a look at the Telzayat ABC-dery. And we've seen this before. This is 
an early Israelite inscription that contains the Hebrew alphabet. And here you can see the Paleo-Hebrew signs above with the Aramaic square signs that I've added underneath. And notice the order of the letters so far. Aleph, Beit, Gimel, Dalit. That is the order that I've taught you. That's the standard Hebrew alphabet. But the order in which I introduced the next letters were He, Vav, Zion, Chet. He, Vav, Zion, Chet. But that appears here as Vav, He, Chet, Zion. Vav, He, Chet, Zion. And after that comes Tet and Yud. And now I taught you that after Yud comes Kaf. But according to this inscription, there's actually a letter that comes in between them, and that's the letter Lamed, which we're going to get to next week. But the order in which I'm teaching you the letters is the standard order that you'll find in any Hebrew textbook. All right, let's look at some vocabulary now. So we said that the word perishing is Oved, Oved, and here it's spelled Aleph, which is silent, but it has the O vowel attached to it, followed by Beit without the Dagesh, making the V sound, followed by Yud for the vowel A, Ove, that's followed by Dalit, Oved, perishing. Goat, as we said, is Gdi, Gdi, Gimel, Dalit, Yud, Gdi. Hand, is Yad, Yud Dalit, Yad. Honor and glory is Kavod, Kavod, Kavod. Kaf has a hard K sound because it has a Dagesh in it, followed by Vet, Vav, Dalit, Kavod. He wept is Bacha. Bet kaf he bacha. But surely is ach ach. That's aleph followed by kaf, the word final form of kaf. Remember, we only see this form of kaf at the end of a word. The pronoun I is ani ani aleph nun yud. Now we haven't learned the letter nun yet but you're getting exposed to it. Some of these letters we're going to learn inductively rather than deductively. So this spells ani, I. God is Elohim, Elohim, Aleph, and then we have Lamed, He, Yud, and then a form of the letter Mem, which makes an M sound. So Lamed and Mem we haven't learned yet, but that's okay. I want you to get exposed to them. Elohim. The God of is Elohe, Elohe, Aleph, Lamed, He, Yud. And that's very similar to the form Elohim, Elohim, Aleph, Lamed, He, Yud, Mem, Elohim, that means God, but the God of is Elohe. Man is Ish, Ish, Aleph, Yud, Shin. We haven't learned the letter Shin yet, that's okay but you can at least recognize the letters Aleph and Yud, so you're starting to see some progress, hopefully. Food is Ochel, Ochel, Aleph, followed by Kaf without the Dagesh, and it makes the Ch sound, Aleph, Kaf, and then a Lamed. Remember, we saw that letter Lamed already in Elohim, in Elohe, right? Achal, Ochel. Ochel. This word can also be read as achal, which means he ate. Achal. But to mean food, it's ochel. All right, let's take a look at Esther 1.1 now. We've been practicing this a little bit, and let's start by just identifying the letters by name. We have vav, yud, he, yud. Vav, yud, he, yud. Beit, yud. Mem Yud, Beit Yud, Mem Yud, Aleph, Chet, Shin. Remember we saw that one before? 
Vav, Resh, Vav, Shin, He, Vav, Aleph. That's the word who, meaning he. Remember the Hebrew word who means he in English. Aleph, Chet, Shin, Vav, Resh, Vav, Shin, He, Mem, Lamed, and here's the final cough, cough at the end of the word, which makes the ch sound. Mem, he, dalit, vav, vav, ayin. We haven't learned that one yet. That's okay. That's another silent consonant. Vav, ayin, dalit, kaf, vav, and you've been exposed to this one a number of times now. Shin, shin, bet, ayin, vav. Ayin, sin. Looks like shin, but notice the dot is on the other side. Sin, resh, yud, mem, vav, mem, aleph, he, mem, dalet, yud, nun. Remember we saw this letter in the word ani before. And then finally, he. So you're now able to recognize about 70% of the letters that show up in the first verse of Esther. And by next week, we'll actually be able to start reading this verse together. So good job. Now, if you're interested, you can go ahead and try to identify the letters from Esther 1.1 in the manuscript. Here, I'll zoom in for you. And remember, starting over on the right, Vav, Yud, He, Yud, Beit, Yud, Mem, Yud, Aleph, Chet, Shin, Vav, Resh, Vav, Shin, He, Vav, Aleph, Aleph, Chet, Shin, Vav, Resh, Vav, Shin, and so on. I'll let you figure out the rest on your own. Go ahead and pause the recording if you want to try to identify the rest of the letters. Well, great job today, everybody. We've made it through three lessons of Biblical Hebrew. You should be very proud of the progress that you're making, and I can't wait to see you for the next video. Take care, everybody.